Hey guys, uh, Aaron here. Got a update video here on my 1950 Bowman set that I've been working on here. Um, wanted to go ahead and just show you some of the cards that I recently picked up here. Uh, we'll just get right to it. A couple of uh, loan numbers here. If you're not familiar with the 50 Bowman set, I think it's cards 1 through 72, which is considered the first series, are actually the harder cards to get. A lot of the uh, vintage sets, typically it's the high number cards that are scarce, but in the 50 Bowmans, it's the low numbers. So, first one here that I got Mr. Pee Wee Reese. Terrific baseball player. Probably many of you are aware, aware of him, familiar with him. Uh, great shortstop for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Super, super excited to get this card. As I was really all of these. I got three cards that I'll be showing you today. The second one here is, well, if you ha must own one DiMaggio, then you might as well own Dom DiMaggio. Uh, terrific player, obviously. Everybody knows about his brother, and certainly he played in his brother's shadow to, throughout most of his career, really. Um, but he was a fine ball player himself. Great, uh, great player for the Red Sox. I want to say he was like a seven-time All-Star, so I mean he was no slouch himself. Um, again, terrific, terrific uh, ball player. All right, finally, one last card here, um, but a good one at that. Key, key card here in the set. I was able to get this one, pull this one off here. And that's a 1950 Bowman. See the name there? That is Mr. Ted Williams. Splendid splinter himself. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Slightly off-centered, obviously. Um, but beautiful image. Fairly decent corners on this card. I mean, this card it grades out as five for me. Five for a 50 Bowman. That's an excellent grade for, as far as I'm concerned. I wouldn't want to pay for anything more. Um, in fact, I was thinking I was probably going to have to um, settle for less than this in terms of condition for this card. Uh, but this card came about. Uh, the price was right. Um, negotiated a little bit with the seller on eBay. Um, we came to a reasonable deal and uh, pulled the trigger on it. So, super happy to get this card here. So that's really all the pickups I had here. Um, I had an opportunity to watch a great uh, video earlier today with a, um, a few fellows here on YouTube, that uh, Dustin Abraham. Uh, Dustin Bellinger and um, actually Pepino Man was involved with it as well um, just talking about set building here um, and I know and just kind of uh, leaving comments on there etc um, one of the guys had mentioned that uh, you know we talked about um, how people store their baseball sets and I mentioned I still do a shoebox for my uh, 50 Ballmans so Probably not the wisest of idea of how to store your cards, but that's what I do. He mentioned he wanted to see it, so I told him I'd dig out the shoebox here. A um, couple graded cards here over here that I got. And then just a big old stack of them that I put in here. I keep them in these card savers. I get these uh, <clears throat> via auction a lot. Um, the, the card savers, that is. And I, I never throw them out. I always hang on to them, and I figure I... Uh, can always use them so what I do is I get one anytime I get these 50 Bowmans I just stick, put them in one of these things here and I just throw them in my box um, got a what did I figured out 25% um, of the set so it's uh, 62 cards total now so I guess we can just flip through a few here if you guys want us interested in seeing any of them here really terrific looking set I love these cards Lloyd Baker. There's a Hall of Famer with the Fordham Flash. Scarity is a pretty good ball player. Max Lanier. Played in the uh, Mexican League actually for a while. And when I 
when I say Mexican League, he was banned from baseball for a while because of it too. John Dobson. I won't go through all these here. I just wanted to give you just a kind of quick look at these. You know, there's a guy. Yeah, it's Lou Boudreau right there, so. But anyway, I'll just give you a look at a few cards. Duke Snyder. Um, but that's what I do. I just throw them in a shoebox. Uh, again, probably not the wisest thing to do, but uh, get these boxes for free, and I figure, hey, what the heck, I put them in these card savers. I know Papino, man, the video, he's a huge, huge proponent of binders, and I'll be honest with you, that's typically how I tend to put my sets together in binders. I'm a hands-on set person. I like to look at the cards. Um, so that's what I typically do, too. For whatever reason, I just made the decision with this set. Shoebox, that's the way I was going, so... All right, guys, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, look forward to seeing any uh, comments that you guys put on here, and as well as any videos you guys make of yours. I'll try to get caught up on those as well. And uh, talk to you soon.